Hey, Chris and Larry family. So I just got done working out in the garden. Um, I'm going to be making a fresh salad with stuff from the garden. But we're also doing a mashed potato and gravy, hamburger gravy. Um, this is one of the kids' favorite dishes, especially when we've been working hard outside all day. And literally, it is a brown gravy with ground beef. I'm cooking the ground beef right now. But we're going to use freeze-dried mashed potatoes. Now, let me show you the directions. Okay, so this is a can of Thrive Life mashed potatoes. This is the number 10 can, so it's got 22 servings in it. We're actually gonna make seven, or excuse me, 10 servings for the five of us because this is our main dish. Um, and it, basically it says you're gonna add one and a quarter cup of water um, to one cup of potatoes, which is two servings. That is serving size one half cup. So we're, I went ahead and put six and a quarter um, into the water, into a, a pan to boil of water. And then we're gonna go ahead and add five cups of mashed potato once that starts to simmer. Then we'll add some butter and some garlic and a few other things into it. Okay. Now the Thrive Life cans, the small ones have a pull tab and the big ones are can opener. I can open this. They all come with a plastic lid that you fits right on the cans, whether it's the pantry size or the number 10 can size. Now you can easily make this meal with um, your own freeze dried. You can make it with um, regular mashed potatoes. We do it a lot with regular mashed potatoes. We've just been working outside all day. So I wanted to make sure I can get this up here. Like this. Um, and if you decide to get a freeze dryer from Harvest Right, all you would do is make your mashed potatoes ahead of time, line your pans with your mashed potatoes, freeze, and way to go. So these are potato flakes. You can see these are mashed potato flakes, so they're already ready. So I need five, five cups of these. I love the fact that when we're doing things outside as a family, I can come in, if I haven't already made a meal, that I can go ahead and come in and just make a really quick meal with freeze dried food. Two, three, this is 10 servings, four, And like I said, these have lids to go back on them. When I freeze dry my own, I put them in zipper mylar bags so that I can go back or I put them in mason jars for me. Now to add a little spice to my mashed potatoes, I'm actually gonna be using Drunken Chef's um, jalapeno seasoning. Um, this is great on meat and popcorn and in mashed potatoes. But we're gonna add some butter. We're gonna add this seasoning and um, a little bit of garlic um, and I'm using some dried garlic as well and we'll do that and then in with the meat that's just about cooked I'm gonna put some freeze-dried onions in there and let those reconstitute just a little bit um, before I make the gravy with that okay so the water is at a simmer boil a, not quite a boil but there and I'm just gonna go ahead and add my mashed potatoes into here and I've got the seasoning in there in the water already and I'm just gonna whisk these just whisk this together and then here at the end I'm gonna add some butter so you saw those potato flakes I put in here you want to make sure you don't let it simmer for too long that it's not gonna boil out too much water and do the rest of this here. But I am gonna add, um, oh, maybe I have a fork. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna use a spoon instead. So you're just gonna make sure that all of those potato flakes are stirred in. All right, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And it is mashed potatoes. 